Welcome to the League of Legends Champion Spotlight, featuring Urgot, the Headsman's Pride. Urgot is an interesting champion, who starts out dealing crazy damage and controlling his lane, before settling into a tank and assassin type role, relying on his ultimate and his team to kill important enemy targets. Urgot's passive is Zon Touched Bolt Augmenter. His basic attacks and first ability reduce his target's damage for a short time. First is Acid Hunter. He fires a simple physical damage missile to the target location and applies his passive. Terror Capacitor is second. Urgot places a shield on himself, which absorbs damage. Until it breaks or times out, his basic attacks and his Acid Hunter slow the targets he hits. While the slow is short, it can stack upon itself. Third, Urgot may cast Noxian Corrosive Charge. This is an area of effect nuke which deals damage over time, lowers armor, and most importantly allows Acid Hunter to lock onto the target. Now if you cast Acid Hunter with your cursor over the target, it will always hit. Urgot's ultimate is the Hyperkinetic Position Reverser. He stuns his target and channels for a second, swapping positions with the target and slowing him while Urgot briefly gains armor and magic resist. My runes are standard for physical range DPS champions. Armor penetration marks and quintessences, mana regeneration per level seals, and flat cooldown reduction glyphs. My masteries are 11 0, 19. I take ability power, critical chance, cooldowns, and armor penetration in offense, while going all the way down for cooldown reduction and utility as well, making sure to take increased mana regeneration along the way. I take Ghost and Flash for summoner spells, which allow me to use my ultimate more easily. I start with a Doran's Ring and Health Potion. The mana regeneration and very high ability power ratios on Terror Capacitor and Corrosive Charge make it a great choice. Right at level 2, I use Corrosive Charge into Acid Hunter for great damage. Early in the game, my damage output is immense with my armor penetration stack. Even though I miss my first two spell casts and get stunned by Kennen, I'm able to absorb some of the damage with Terror Capacitor and drop him off quickly with Acid Hunter. At level 8, I've got level 4 Acid Hunter with 2 in Corrosive Charge. I'm still able to harass Kennen extremely well. Once it gets back into range, I cast my ultimate, making Corrosive Charge extremely easy to land, giving me another kill. With my Brutalizer and Mercury Treads, I head top to kill Galio. I swap him into Nasus with my Position Reverser, while my Shield and Armor buff tank the turret. Because of Mercury Treads, I'm able to flash out of his ultimate while I continue dealing damage with Corrosive Charge and Acid Hunter. Back in mid, I use Position Reverser on Kennen just to slow him down for my spells and to beef myself up in front of the turret. As he drops, I meet up with a Mumu to fight Garen and Galio. Corrosive Charge and Acid Hunter help kill Garen. Terror Capacitor holds up long enough to tank Idol of Durand, and then I make short work of Galio. As we start a teamfight in mid, I have one purpose. Swap Ezreal into my team. I run up to him with Ghost and use Position Reverser. I pummel him with Corrosive Charge and Acid Hunter while slowing him with Terror Capacitor and Phage. The rest of the fight is a cakewalk with their carries dead, and we score an ace. Again, we group up for battle in mid. I finished Frozen Mallet now which makes pinning targets a breeze. I spam on Garen with Corrosive Charge and Acid Hunter, but again my main goal is to flash towards Ezreal to get him into range for swapping him. Finally, I want to talk about teamfight positioning. Notice that I walk myself behind Nasus and Gragas, and then aim specifically for Kennen. Once he drops, I repeatedly slow Garen and finally cast my ultimate on him just to stun him for my team. As Galio channels Idol of Durand, I escape the area with Mercury Treads, and then pick him off as well. 
Basically, I make sure I'm never able to be killed, while I'm always in range to repeatedly throw all my spells. Thanks for tuning in to the Urgot Champion Spotlight. I don't have a clever introduction this time. I just want you to bear witness to Urgot's awesomeness. Fear? No, I am the mind killer.